Hey guys, Kevin the Rocket here. Uh, this is probably my last video for today. Um, I'm gonna do a review on uh, Norton Internet Security 2011. Uh, for some reason, my connection speed is a little slow, so I'm just still waiting for this to download. And uh, yeah, myself, I run the uh, Norton 360 version, not the Internet Security, so I'm not really sure how this is gonna do, but I guess we'll find out anyways. So. Um, I'm going to download this, then I'll install it, and I'm going to disable my own Norton so it doesn't interfere, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it finished, and I reinstall. Um, the installer is 100, oh, or 114 megabytes in size. Um, the installer seems to be going pretty fast, and whenever I installed my 360 version, it went pretty fast. I personally think Norton's increased their um, detection rates and removal because with my N360, it seems to not miss anything. Um, the beta version out right now, it's actually, they have a bug, it's delayed, so just say that I would, um, I would find something, a piece of malware or something, and it would block my, it would block the piece of malware, and at least 15 or 10 minutes later, it will bring up a um, it would bring up a warning message saying it's uh, been found, but it had to take forever, so. Okay, so, oh, I don't want to scan. I'll just type it. Um, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm running a live update right now. And um, you get 30 days for the free trial from, I got this from download.com. I'm actually going to check for a new version also to see. And your product update, so of course it's gonna be a huge update. So I'm just gonna let this run and I'll be back in a few. Just wanted to show you guys this really fast. Uh, I just noticed this and it's got an activity map, it tells you like the where the malware is found. Just say I click here and it'll tell you just say Los Angeles, Houston, Chicago, wherever, and it'll tell you how many threats. Um, online family, online backup. And this is pretty cool too, safe web. You can search a term and uh, have safe search, or you can enter a URL to say Google, check site, then we'll bring this up, and it'll tell you zero of anything found. So yeah, it's a good site. I'll show you a site that is pretty sure it's this site. It may not actually have viruses, it's just a few downloads, so um yeah. Is it GTA inside or GTA? Pretty sure it's inside. The update's still going there. Come on. Hang on a sec, I'll be back. Okay, well I couldn't get that page to load, but I got this, and uh, as you can see right here, uh, just see, I'll click on this link, and the safe web says that for computer threats, um, just caution. And if we view the report, it will tell us um, it's a German website. Um, it gives you the samples too. They're drive-by downloads, um, 
Santa Coast Blacklist. And it's got the multiple downloads you got. And uh, then there's some user reviews over here. The site will not give you a virus unless you download the files and the threat report. Everything else is fine. Mostly safe. Most things uh, safe. Be, just be suspicious about downloads. So, yeah. It's uh, pretty good how they have it set up. Now, in other words, uh, just open this up. That's, this one is the... Uh, this is the uh, toolbar thing for the safe web for Norton 360, and this is the Internet Explorer, not really that different. But let's see how much longer this update has. Okay, it should have a long minute, so uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I'm back for that restart. And. Um, I'm just going to go through this really fast. Um, it has insect protection, an antivirus, anti spyware, sonar protection, uh, smart firewall, intrusion prote prevention, uh, email protection, uh, identity safe, browser protection, safe browsing and download intelligence. Uh, I'll run a quick update and see if there's anything else. Uh, on live update. Hopefully it's up to date now. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the malware domain list and get random links. I find it too, just to uh, keep this open and get them that way. First, I'm going to start Google to my homepage. And uh, this comes up. Uh, your Norton safe search. I'm just going to enable it like I always do. So, wait a second. Add home page. Okay, so this one's a Trojan. And Norton automatically blocks this with the malicious website blocked. Um, if we continue to the site anyways, it's not going to work because if we view details, an intrusion attempt was by this name and was blocked. Closed and as you can see, the safe web on the top is red, which is not good. It's analyzing. Just give it a second before I run it, and it is a threat. If we try to run it, nothing's going to happen. And if you get a no more info, it'll take you to the website and describe everything about it. That one was blocked. So it's up dead.
Oops, I blocked. Looks like that one didn't do anything. Let's try this Trojan. Oh, it looks like it's dead. Redirects the fake AV. Okay, just pretend that we don't know this. We click on here anyways and try to run this. And it's going to analyze it. And it's going to block it. So get out of that website. And we'll go to the home. CTVSS downloading. That one's dead. That one was dead, but he even blocked it. I really think that uh, Norton has improved a lot. I never used to like it until recently. Okay, so supposedly it's just a graphic thing, but if we run it, it's not going to run because it's blocked. If you ever come up on one of those websites, don't ever download anything from it. If you just visit it, it shouldn't hurt your computer at all, so just exit out. Um, that one's blocked. If you can exit out, just make sure you read it so you can, it'll say if you're sure you don't want to be protected, click OK or something like that. But That one was blocked. I think that one's dead. That one doesn't work. I remember these from yesterday. Let's try this one. And it's analyzing. And it's blocked. That one's blocked. Oh, yeah, that one doesn't work. Rogue. Try to get some rogues in here. Well, that's weird. Now it's not going to tell me what it is. A lot of exploits.
two face. Directs to road. This is what I want right here. And of course, they're all going to be dead probably. Yeah, here's one. But I like this because it's XP right here, and I don't even have XP. I don't know what that down there is, but. 290 Trojans, that's funny. If we view the report, we're stupid and just click downward, anyways. And it's analyzing, we try to run it, and it's blocked. I see what it does, it puts these in order, so. And that one's gone, so. Um, Norton did well. It didn't miss anything. So I'm going to run C Cleaner. Okay, I'm going to start a full scan with Norton, and, uh, actually I'll just do a quick scan, so, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes, so see you then. Okay, the Norton scan did not find anything. I'm not going to run a Norton Power Eraser scan because Norton Power Eraser and Norton and other security both have the same, uh, the same, um, detection files or the updates. I think that's funny though how these two files are from Norton and they're getting uploaded to the cloud but they're not viruses or anything so. Okay I'm going to scale with malware bytes and uh, I'll do this and I shall just show you the results. Okay nothing found so um, I really like uh, Norton personally, and I think it's improved a lot since it first came out. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes whenever this uh, whenever this scan's done. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Already the uh, Norton scan, I mean the uh, malwarebytes scan finished, and I found absolutely nothing. So yeah, uh, uh, pretty good by uh, or excellent rather by Norton. It um didn't miss anything and uh, yeah that's basically it uh, so I guess please comment rate and subscribe and uh, you guys can rate this video and rate the um, rate the virus protector as you feel it should be rated and uh, that basically yeah that's basically it. if you guys had any requests just feel free to ask and uh, I'll be sure to help you so uh, yeah please comment rate and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later